Yo, you guys will never believe what just happened. I was just minding my own business. I uh, know I get a call from someone named Kazakuchi Makakuchi. What kind of name is that? So I Google him and apparently he created Yu-Gi-Oh. He called, he's like, yo, Triff. And you guys know me. This guy banned me, bro. This guy banned my ass. So I'm like, yo, I'm not going to give this guy respect. So I answer, I'm like, yo, what do you want? What do you want, bro? Holy shit. Hi, hi. I'm a big fan, man. Hi. Oh my God. How are you? I'm so sorry. I'm a big fan. How's your day, man? How are you? How are you doing? How are you doing? How's everything? Oh, yeah, I want some shit like that, but whatever. Same shit, right? And then he tells me, he's like, why don't I come over to your place? He tells me, and why don't we do a live interview since you have the greatest fans in the world? I was like, I'm cool with that. Come through, bro. Reach the pen god, the Casa the pen god. So he told me, he's like, right, I'll reach the Casa the pen god. I'll be on my way. So he's coming right now. And we're going to be doing a live interview where me and Kazutuchi Makakuchi, the owner of Yu Gi Oh! creator of Yu Gi Oh! on the ban list, not just prediction, but the most accurate ban list in the game. So subscribe right now if you guys love my content. Subscribe if you're ready to see Kazutuchi, the Makakuchi, the man himself, come right now as I interview him on their ban list and exactly what happened to the ban list. Like, subscribe. Let's... He's here right now. Oh shit. Oh shit! Okay, he's here right now. He's here. No no Yo, I'm a big fan, man. How are you doing, man? Yo, you ready to get started? I'm so excited to have you here. Didn't I ban your ass? Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Thank God forgives, don't worry. But you don't forget. So I wanna know, bro. What inspires you to ban certain cards and limit certain cards? Why these? It's like for a healthy game, right? Oh, easy. Whatever will make me the most money. Okay, I thought, you know, for like a healthy game and whatnot, happy player base. Anyways, let's get started. What is going to get banned first? First and foremost on this ban list, we are banning Rank Up Magic. This card has zero place in this game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Wild Rusty is a card. Rusty could also easily be banned, but Rusty or Rank Up will get banned. Can't tell you guys which one, but one of them will get banned come late april that's for sure it has no place even though even though you could easily take care of rank up with a little kaiju it is still an unfair card with rusty too easy access for an auto win there's a reason Shockmaster and all cards like Shockmaster eventually get banned digit all that there's no place in the game for that that card's getting banned next tempest magician you see we're gonna push endymion the structure deck Oh, we're going to push the shit out of that one. Because that's going to sell like, sell very easy. You see, with people like the Pen God, who we love very much because he's the greatest YouTuber in the world. And very healthy for this game. In fact, he was so powerful that we had to ban him for a year. Or else he would have got too powerful even for Konami. Ah, uh, Janami. Now, we are going to ban Tempest Magician because we got to throw him a little bone here and there. We're going to release a lot of amazing Pendulum cards in the future, i.e. <coughs> Electrum to 3. But we gotta give him a little bone here and there. Because if we give him too much pendulum support, people are gonna complain. But we are gonna ban Tempest because there are too many FDKs with Tempest Magician and Endymion. <laughs> Go check from Gaming Channel in a few weeks for, for Tempest FDK. Anyways, on to ban number three. There are three bans on, on the list. Uh, that's it. Nothing else needs to be banned. Ban number three is multi roll. Now, if you ban multi roll, we don't care about Sky Strikers had their thing. They made us enough money. We don't need to give them more support. We're not going to give them more good support. We are banning multi-roll and throwing that deck in the garbage where it belonged all along. All right? You ban multi-roll, the deck is dead. You could limit, engage, or Kagari to one. As long as multi-roll is a card, even if you put multi-roll to one, that deck will still be tier one. That multi-roll is amazing. Look what we did in the past. Super Red Drew, ban that. Problem somewhat solved. Ban, uh... Spellbook of Judgment, where are spellbooks now? Where are spellbooks now? Tell me. Nowhere. Simply because we ban Judgment. You ban Roll, spell uh, Strikers are dead, and our product that we are now selling pushes. Multi Roll is getting banned. Rank Up is getting banned. Tempest is getting banned. That's all that's getting banned. Okay, okay, interesting. What about like, what about like Nightmare Mermaid? What about Red MD? Like what about cards? What about gazelle? What about cards like that, bro? They're not getting banned. We gotta get as much money as possible. All right, Dingus is coming out. Mermaid's not going anywhere. As for gazelle, we just release salads, bro. But a lot of we're gonna release more support for them. We're not hitting this deck 
for another six months at the very least. We're trying to get paid right now, so we are not going to hit Solid Mountain Greats at all. It's a great deck to invest in, seeing as it's just three structured decks. Uh, yeah, <laughs> three structured decks. You're going to have to buy maybe, you know, five boxes of dual power to get the hand traps you need for it. Do not be, we're smart like that. So invest in that, invest in hand traps, which is why we're releasing a whole set of dual power with them. We're also not going to ban Red MD, because what else comes in dual power? Heretic Link, Guard Dragons, <laughs> go buy dual power. Go buy dual power. We're not banning any of those. The only cards getting banned is Rank Up, Tempest Magician, and Multi-Roll. All right, fair, fair, fair. All right, what's next? Limited. What is going to be Limited. You see, the limited list is easy. Now, you gotta look at it from our perspective. Cherubini's coming on Dark Neostorm. Alright, that card's coming on Dark Neostorm. So, since it's coming on Neostorm, that's just gonna be 100 bucks. That's just gonna be 100 bucks. So, we're gonna push the shit out of every single card that makes Cherubini a good card. So, and if we, if we don't limit or do something about dangers, the player base is gonna riot. So, what are we gonna do? We're gonna limit Nessie to one. That's it. We're not touching Sukunoko. We're not touching Jackalope. Why? We want we want Cherubini to see as much play as possible, which is why these cards make Cherubini like this. Nessie to one is fair. People aren't going to complain. At least we hit the best danger card. But Jackalope and Sukunoko are the real problems. If we hit these to one, not many people are buying Cherubini. We're hitting Nessie to one. That's it. No other danger is going to get hit until we ban Cherubini a month after we release it. <laughs> Perform by Pendulum Sorcerer, anyone? Next, on our limited list, we're limiting Sir Yuja to one. Why? It's a fantastic card. I mean, read it. I mean, just read it. What else does it do? It forces people to buy dual power. Or whatever the hell that's. I don't even know what that's just called. We're just money power. That's what we call it. That's what we call it back at the office. You know what I mean? Uh, you gotta uh, substitute the Sir Yuja's for the Heretic Link. All right, Guard Dragon dot decks. Uh, you play Sir Yuja. To really bring out the guard dragon and whatnot as soon as possible. But if you bring Sayuja to one, it forces people to play Heretic Link, which is why we're bringing Sayuja to one. Next, Colossus. Hey, Thunders. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Uh, we don't care about Thunders anymore. All right, that's yesterday's news. We're trying to push other decks, such as hand trap decks, so people buy dual power and buy our hand traps, which are going to be <laughs> 40 bucks a piece. We don't care if they're reprinted 70 times. Ash is still gonna be fifty thousand dollars. So you're gonna buy your dual power, I mean money power sets, and get all your hand traps. Thunder Dragons, you've been on the block for too long. That and strikers are gone. Those and strikers are gonna get hit so bad, you're not gonna see play anymore, except if it's on table five hundred. Shout out Farfa. So we are banning we're not banning, we're limiting Colossus to one, and we're limiting Thunder Dragon to one. The second these two cards are limited to one Thunder Dragons, they're dead. They're dead. They're dead. We already hit snow. Hey, Chaos Dragons. What are you doing? We that we limit the usual one. Chaos dragons are dead too. We don't need red MD. Keep red MD. Keep red MD, bro. Keep red MD. So usual to one. Colossus to one. Thunder dragon to one. You do this. Thunders, chaos, all that shit. Done. They're dead. They're back to tier five. All right. Like they were in 2011, you feel me? So we're trying to push the the money cards, the, the stuff that'll get us money from the sets we just released. So those cards are getting limited to one. Next, a surprise one here. Guess what? Uh, what comes out on uh, April 19? Let me tell you what comes out. Endemia structure deck. So hey, pay close attention to the pen god. Subscribe to his channel if you haven't already uh, for the most amazing uh, updated Endemion lists. Uh, we're going to limit Astrograph to one. That's right. You heard it first. Endemion's coming. What's that mean? You want to make this deck as great as possible. As amazing as possible. So what are we going to do? We're going to bring back some Pendulum cards. We thought maybe bring back Kieran to one. That's a little too much. That's going to hurt our Cherubini baby. You feel me? So we're going to put Astrograph to one and really push Endemion and Pendulums. And we're kind of in honor of the great god uh, Triff at Pen. Uh, God. So, hey, little, little uh, spoiler alert. Come September 13th of his unbanned. Expect Electro to come to three. Anyways, that's it for limited list. All right, nothing else is going to get limited. I'm game for that, bro. Bring Astrograph back, bro. You heard it from the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh himself. Astrograph is coming back to one. You guys heard it from the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh himself. I'm liking the list so far, bro. I'm liking the list. You're batting the problem cards. You choose the ban rank up, problem card. Ban multi-roll. Problem card. Bad type is magician. You already know how many FTKs. I'm going to cook up with that in Endymion. Good choice. 
you limited Nessie, not to Jacob and, and Sukunoko, but for good reason, simply because uh, it's going to be needed for Cherubini and it's going to break that deck, uh, break that card, and hence making people buy the cards. Obviously, that's a great choice right there. Limiting Soyuja, great choice. Limiting Astrograph, greatest choice of all time. Limiting Thunder Dragon, Limiting Colossus, I like this, I like this. Alright, so what about Semi-Limited? My Semi-Limited list is nothing, because who the hell has a Semi-Limited list? Who, I'm firing whoever came up with that. There's going to be no cards on a Semi-Limited list, because, except some useless shit like Insector, fucking Dragonfly, or whatever the shit, because deck's dead anyways. We're going to put some random shit to Semi-Limited too, but that shit's going to go away soon, because you want to see some time, not all the time, and it's not that important, Semi-Limited, Nothing except Insector, some fucking useless shit is going to go to two, but it's not going to be relevant. Sometime, not all the time. Forget Semi-Limited. I agree with you on that one. What about the Unlimited list? Now on to the Unlimited. This, some people are going to hate me for saying this, but you know what? Cherubini is coming up, and I have said Cherubini a thousand times already in this video, and the whole point of this battle list is to really push Dark Neostorm and Endymion, which is why I guys coming back to one. Jackalope and Sukunoko aren't going anywhere. We banned the other relevant decks. Uh, people are going to buy Hatches for, dark, for uh, dual power. Next, we got to really push Cherubini. How's the best way to push Cherubini? Sir and Graf are going to come back to three. Both of them. That's right. That's right. Both of them are going back to three. You see, you only need one of each of them, really. We want to push the shit out of this deck. We want Cherubini. We want you, we want you to buy Cherubini or lose. It's that simple. That's how you push $100 cards. That's how you make money. And then we're just going to ban it a month later. <laughs> that's the plan here. That's the game plan. <laughs> the kid, the cool kids say that. But that's what we do here, right? So I am Kazuki Takahari here. And I am signing out, guys. That is my ban list. You heard it here first. Thank you for Triv Gaming for having me on this channel. I feel absolutely honored to be even in the presence of greatness, which is yourself. So thank you for doing what you're doing. Uh, creating the greatest content in Yugi Tube history. Uh, that's going to be my ban list. All right, so I'm going to repeat it all one more time. Ban is going to be Rank Up, Multi-Roll, Tempest Magician. Limited is going to be Nessie, Saryuja, Colossus, Thunder Dragon, Astrograph. Semi-Limited, some garbage like Insector, whatever the shit. Unlimited, Sir and Graf. That's the list, guys. Mark, Mark, I own Konami. I'm what, or Yu-Gi-Oh, same shit. What about Kagari Takahushi, Kageki Takamuki, Sukinoko Sukiyomi. That's my name. Get ready for this ban list. It's going to be a game changer. See you guys later. All right, not to burst everyone's bubble, but that was just me in a suit. It wasn't actually the owner of Yu-Gi-Oh, if you guys are confused. Uh, yeah. That was the most accurate ban list in the game. I don't care what anyone says. I put a lot of thought into this. I did my research. What comes out? When? When's it going to come out? How powerful is it? What cards are going to be needed then? Look months in advance, and this is the most accurate list. Keep it in mind when you guys do your trading, when you guys want to figure out what decks you want to build. Because some of you guys aren't sponsored because you're not the greatest player in the world like I am. So you don't have access to every single card uh, at your disposal. So with that being said, do be wary of what's going to get hit. They do. Konami will want to push Cherubini, uh, even Orca's deck, the Gears who comes out, and Demion. So be wary of that. Uh, Strikers and Thunders are mostly going to get hit. So keep that in mind. I think this list is the most accurate list on what's going to happen. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Don't forget to like and comment. More coming soon. See you guys in the next video.